Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome to this tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can use PHP Unit within PHP Storm. So right now, what we're looking at is a class that I've written. It's called the SEO Pagination Element Helper. You can find it on GitHub, and it's a helper specifically for Laravel. I'll put the link in the description below. So what we're going to do today is obviously try and find out how we can hook up PHP Storm to PHP Unit. But before we do that, in this video, what I want to show you is actually the benefits of it. So um, I have some tests for this class. Got a couple here. And if I wanted to run these tests to see if my tests are passing, I'm going to have to go to my terminal and run PHP Unit. So let's take a look. So uh, first, I'm of course in the directory. Then I'm going to do vendor bin PHP unit because I don't have an alias set up. And then I have to type in the long path to get to the tests that I actually want to run. So I'm going to hit enter and great, my tests do pass. And um, this is great if I want to run it again. I just have to come back to the terminal, press up, and I can do the command again. Um, if I get any errors, let's see what they look like. So um, let's go back to PHP storm and um, let's just change something here so we can say instead of next just put an extra t there and we'll go back to the terminal run the test again and okay so now we have some errors and you can see with php unit yes it does give us exactly what's gone wrong it has given us a raise um, to see what's happened um, it's given us the strings here and it, it says expected and actual, expected and actual, expected and actual, and that's for the assertions that have now failed. And um, this is great. It's you know it's giving us the feedback we need. But what I want to see is I want it to be clearer. I want some colors involved to make it clearer, and I want to be able to click on let's say something like this and go to the SEO pagination element helper test file exactly in line 48. So um, let's see how it looks in PHP Storm. So let's go back. I'm just going to change this so our tests are passing. So I already have PHP Storm configured. And all I have to do is hit Shift F10 and it, it'll run. So there you go. If you're on a Mac, I think the command is Control R or the shortcuts Control R. And remember, this is PHP Storm, so you can change anything. So you should be able to change that shortcut to whatever you want. I'm actually not too happy with Shift F10. I may change that in the future. So we have a panel over here now. I hope you can see this. I'm just going to bring it up. And um, hopefully, I can increase the size here so you can see it a little better. But um, it's the standard PHP unit stuff. So I'm just going to bring, bring it down. Now I'm going to make the test fail again. So put back the extra T, just bring that up a little bit, and then Shift F10 to run the tests. And this time we have a failure, which is exactly what we wanted. Again, I'm just going to make this a bit larger so you can see. Um, this time there's a difference. Now um, there's some colors on the output, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to see. Um, I have expected an actual, so at least there's some colors, but this time I can click to see difference. So now PHP Storm actually highlights the difference in the string, and that is next and uh, next. So that's very useful. So I'm going to close that. And then it has the same thing. So now if I click that, it'll take me to the exact line where the assertion fails. So I can then deal with that assertion. So same thing down here failed asserting that the two arrays are equal, click to see the difference, and again, PHP Storm now highlights the difference in the arrays, and that is extremely useful. So let's go down, and um, let's make these tests pass again. Next. Okay, so Shift F10, great, they pass. So that was just a brief overview of the benefits of using an IDE over using your terminal because now every time I make a change to my code all I have to do is hit shift F10 or if I'm on Mac control, uh, control and R and um, that prevents me from going back to the terminal and getting output that is I don't want to say complex or complicated because it is quite clear it's just not as clear or not as robust as it could be because especially some people do use the terminal within PHP Storm so if you're going to use the terminal within PHP Storm, why not hook your IDE 
uh, up to PHP unit itself and have more robust output inside your IDE. So in the next video, we're going to look at how we can set this up.